Module 3, Lesson 10. Our objective today is to add fractions with the sums that are greater than 2. We will be using number lines to help us with this lesson. Here we have 3 and 1 fourth plus 2 and 1 third. It will help us to visualize this on a number line. So I will make a number line. And as you see, I have placed whole numbers onto my number line. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's break apart and decompose these numbers here. That is a mixed number where it is it's made up of a whole and it's made up of a fractional part, 3 plus 1 fourth. We're adding together 2 and 1 third, so that's plus 2 plus 1 third. I think that you'll agree with me, I can reorder this as 3 plus 2, where we have our whole numbers, we're adding those together, and then we have plus 1 fourth plus 1 third. And in this case, we have 3 plus 2 equaling 5, and then we would add together in that case, we have 1 fourth plus 1 third. We just need to get a common denominator for that. So we have 1 times 3 over 4 times 3 plus 1 times 4 over 3 times 4. So our common denominator is 12. Doing our work here, we have 5 plus and then we have the rest of that there. Now visualizing this on the number line, I have started at 0. I got to 3 because of the 3 there for our mixed number, and then I went to another 2 because of our other mixed number and the whole portion of that mixed number. And then what I'm doing right now is I'm adding together 1 fourth and 1 third. I know that 1 fourth plus 1 third is actually going to be smaller than um, a whole, and in fact, we have 1 fourth, and then we have 1 third within our number line. So I know that my answer is going to be in between 5 and 6, where we add 1 fourth here, and we can write it out on the number line, and then we also added 1 third. And so this was the plus... 3, and this was the plus 2, just to visualize it. So coming back to my numbers, when I was adding together those fractions, I had 5 plus 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths, which is equal to 5 and 7 twelfths. So that 3 and 1 fourth plus 2 and 1 third is equal to 5 and 7 twelfths. What I did is I added together the whole numbers, and then I added together the fractional parts, making sure to get a common denominator. Here I'm adding together 2 and 3 fifths plus 1 and 3 fourths. Again, let's look at a number line. We started at 0, not going to 1, not going even to 2, but... We break it apart. Yeah, sure. We started with plus 2 there. And then we just went plus 1 from there for the <clears throat> 1 and 3 fourths there. And for the whole portion of that. The next thing that we would have to do, there's another whole number there, is to add together the 3 fifths with the 3 fourths. And I know... And we got three fifths, so this is a little bit more than um, a half. So that's the plus three fifths. And then we'd have to have three fourths still. And that's about three fourths. So plus three fourths. And I know that um, it looks like our answer should be in between four and five. Now, working with our numbers, let's break it apart first. So this equals 2 plus 3 fifths 
plus 1 plus 3 fourths. We'll put together the whole numbers. We have 2 plus 1 and put together the fractions 3 fifths plus 3 fourths. 2 plus 1 is 3 and then in adding the fractions we notice that there are not like units so let's put together those make um, equivalent fractions there. We have 3 times 4 over 5 times 4 plus 3 times 5 over 4 times 5, where a common denominator in this case is going to be 20. We end up with 3 plus 12 twentieths plus 15 twentieths, which will equal 3 plus 27 twentieths, which is equal to hmm, 3 plus 1 and 7 twentieths, which we can break down into plus 1 plus 7 twentieths, which will then equal 4 and 7 twentieths. That last little portion there is that we had to, we knew it was bigger than 1, so that was 1 and 7 twentieths, and we put that together with the 3 to get 4 and 7 twentieths. 4 and 7 twentieths is in simplest form. So as I had suggested by my number line, yes, the answer was in between 4 and 5. Here's one for you to try. When you're adding your fractions, use a common denominator of 24. It would be 6, 12, 18, 24. When we are thinking of multiples of 6 and 8, 16, 24, when we are thinking of multiples of 8. So we break it apart first. We could visualize this on a number line. Here is 0, here is 1, and 2, and 3, and 4. 1 and 5, 6 breaks down into 1 first, plus 1. And then we're also looking at 1 and 7 eighths, so we're looking at the whole number first, which is plus 1 as well. So we have plus 1, plus 1. We look at 5, 6, and then we also look at 7 eighths. So we have 5, 6 here. It's about 5, 6. And then we also have 7 eighths, which is pretty close to 1, but not quite. So we have plus 7 eighths. So it looks like our answer should be um, pretty close to 4, but not quite at 4. And our answer should be in between 3 and 4. So remember again, use a common denominator of 24. Pause that video while you do and show your work. We have 1 and 5, 6, which is equal to 1 plus 5, 6. 1 and 7, 8, 1 plus 7, 8 put our whole numbers together, we have 1 plus 1 plus 5, 6 plus 7, 8. 1 plus 1 is 2, and we're getting a common denominator. We're choosing 24, so that would be 6 times 4, same thing in the numerator, 5 times 4, plus 7 times 3, because it will be 8 times 3 to get that denominator of 24. So this equals 2 plus 20 24ths plus 21 24ths, which equals 2 plus 41 24ths. 41 24ths would equal 1 and 17 24ths. We would be thinking of 41 divided by 24, and then as part of that, it would be 20, 41 minus 24 to be able to get 17 as our numerator there. So we have 2 plus 1 plus 17 24, which basically comes down to 3 there, and 17 24, because that 2 plus 1 is 3. So all of that there is equal to 3 and 17 24, which is what it is that I was showing and getting close to showing on my number line. Key again, common denominator when you're adding those fractional parts. Express your answer in simplest form. 
Let's show one last problem. Here we have 3 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 7 ninths. We have 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And let's see. 3 and 2 thirds are whole numbers first. So we have to 3. That's that plus 3. We have one more for our whole number right here with the 1 and 7 ninths. So that's plus 1. For two-thirds, that fractional part there, not quite to five. So we have two-thirds there and then plus another seven-ninths. So that's plus two-thirds, that's plus seven-ninths. Looks like our answer is in between five and six. Just gives us an idea. We break it apart first. So we have three plus two-thirds plus one plus seven-ninths. Put together our whole numbers of 3 plus 1 plus 2 thirds plus 7 ninths. 3 plus 1 is 4, and then we have 2 thirds plus 7 ninths. Get a common denominator. If we notice here though, we have thirds and ninths, we can get the thirds to ninths. So we could have plus 2 over 3. To get to ninths, we would multiply by 3. Whatever we do in the denominator, we do in the numerator as well. So we have 2 times 3 over 3 times 3, plus the 7 ninths still. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, so we have 6 ninths plus 7 ninths added together with 4. 6 ninths plus 7 ninths is 13 ninths, so that's 4 again, plus 13 ninths. Should be thinking of 13 divided by 9, which is... 1, so 13 ninths is equal to 1 and 4 ninths. So we have 4 plus 1 plus 4 ninths, which is 5 and 4 ninths. So that we have 3 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 7 ninths equaling four, 5 and 4 ninths. I cannot simplify that four nights any further, so that is my final answer there.